my name is Peter Buell. I'm the director of the Great Lakes International Marine Training Centre. Georgian College offers the most advanced available technology in terms of your training, so you will get the best that there is to offer. In the last uh, two years, we've undergone an, an $8 million renovation uh, to bring in uh, new simulator technology. We have the opportunity to give people uh, real-world experience in a safe environment. So they can go from the very basics uh, to taking, learning how to take the helm, uh, learning what they need to be able to see in other ships at sea in terms of aspect and lighting, uh, and go right from there to ship handling alongside in uh, the most difficult ports and the most difficult conditions that are possible. So when they get to their ship, uh, they will find that it handles exactly like the, ex the things that they experienced here. We have a, an international and national shortage of engineers and bridge officers and more retiring uh, in the foreseeable future, so there are plenty of opportunities. The program grads, the engineers can go to sea uh, once they finish their tickets as a fourth class engineer. Uh, the bridge officers go as a, a third mate. Uh, they can expect uh, earnings starting at $60,000 a year uh, once, they, once they get to sea doing that. Uh, and the potential for senior engineers and captains uh, goes well above $100,000. Well, the college is a really good college to go to. Uh, from, even without considering the technology, uh, the instructors here are very good. They've all been in the field, they've all worked, they're all former captains, former chief engineers, and uh, the quality of instruction you get is really high. Uh, the technology that the college employs is also very good. In fact, we have students from as far as China and uh, the Philippines who are going to be exchange students coming here to use our facilities uh, because that's how cutting edge they are, and it's really a lot of fun to use them too. The simulator technology is really neat. Um, when you walk in there, it's like you feel like you're in a video game, almost. Um, and then you realize that you have all the instruments that you would on board a regular bridge of a ship. Um, getting to work with uh, docking procedures and anchoring procedures and navigating. Just the other day, we were in the simulator and we had a, I had a 140-foot bulk carrier and our instructor said that we had to practice docking. So I never thought I could do something like that, but practicing it and doing it and seeing how the vessel maneuvers it's like, it's like being out there. We do lots of math, um, thermodynamics, uh, fluid mechanics, hydraulics, um, we play with the simulators. Um, it's just a program that simulates a full, like what a full engine room would be like and how to get it running and how to keep everything operational. The simulators are, they're fun. It's just like a big video game and I mean, once you get good at it, it's, it applies to your job. The professors here are great at, at making sure you're prepared for going out there. You don't know everything, but who does, right? So you get out and, and you learn on the go, but you have a great knowledge base going out on your first co-op. I have been out on a co-op. I had a great time. I was on a crew on a crew with four, so it was really it was almost like a family on board. Not as big as a Laker. It was only 100 feet, but it, it was a different experience. I assisted the chief engineer in his routine duties. Um, did a lot of welding, uh, fixing fixing things that would break. We I got to bring a boat into dry dock. On the ship, you get a chance to do pretty much everything. So from Working on deck with the guys, learning about mooring operations, to working on the bridge and learning about navigation. Um, I've also spent some time in the engine room and learned about the operations of the machinery and things like that as well. So you do get a pretty broad feel for what it's all about when you go out there as a cadet. You just you learn about everything. Um, I spent four months out on uh, Captain Spirit, and it was very exciting. Lots of hands-on work. Um, kept me busy. Good people. We did coal, concrete, okay. um, some, one point we took houses up to the Arctic, up to the islands up there. So it's, like I said, you get to see the world, the marine life you see, and just everything's fantastic. We did a co-op 
uh, last spring and summer for four months and I sailed on board a topsail schooner from Maryland. A lot of people wouldn't think so, but there is lots of opportunities for tall ships and sailing vessels out there, so that's what I wanted to do. And so I went out and found my own co-op and did it, and it was a really good experience. I spent the last uh, four months last summer working um, on an LPG carrier, that's liquid petroleum gas carrier. Uh, we sailed the northwestern European trade. Uh, we carried mostly propane and butane in a pressurized liquid form. And uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of quick voyages, short hauls from the UK to Europe, Europe to the UK. And uh, I had a lot of fun doing it. I chose the marine industry because it was a way for me to see the world. So my goal here is to get a ticket that will allow me to sail around the world and get paid to do it. My end goal definitely as soon as I graduate is uh, to get a good job as soon as possible with a reputable shipping company and just uh, sail and have fun doing it. Your options are unlimited. You can go do anything you want, work anywhere in the world. There's so many opportunities, there's so many places to go. I mean, once you get your ticket, there's a worldwide demand for licensed officers, so I'm sure that's not going to be a problem. Well, if you want to see the world, you want to make great money, this is the profession for you. You, you have great benefits, you get to see, you get to see a place in the world you probably never get to see working a desk job or working as an electrician or something like that. Yeah.